Tape. I'm gonna show you uh, to lag test. So here you have uh, two screens. Uh, one is the CRT monitor, and the other one is uh, the LCD panel. Uh, this one is uh, the Panasonic uh, TC32 LZ800. So as you can see, both screens have the exact same uh, output. Uh, this one is using uh, HDMI, HDMI right now. So if I zoom in, it's HDMI. So here a quick test. Uh, here you have to run the timer uh, from a site. Uh, I don't know which one, but uh, never mind. So you have to press start. So here you have the timer running, and maybe if I can capture. You can set the timer running and see which one is faster. So I'm gonna try to take a good angle so you can see that both screen are running. Oh, this is messed up. So you can see that my LCD panel, the Panasonic go a little bit faster than than the CRT monitor and after I'm gonna show you um, with the S video what it does with my other LCD panel well <coughs> so I'm gonna open the video card and switch so it's already plugged with the S video here and it's from all the back here on the computer. Well first I'm gonna switch the L C D panel with the S video. It's really hard to see because uh, the camcord is cheap but you have to deal with it. So now the screen is off. to our switch right now. So I'm gonna turn on the other LCD panel to see what it does. So I'm gonna switch the input on S video. No, it's S video on the side. So you see that's both timer running again. So I'm gonna shut up this cable. And you see here that the both timer are running. But if I take another picture, you see that the timer of uh, you see that the timer of the the LCD panels is behind the CRT monitor. So take a let's take a pic again. Another one. You can see that the CRT monitor is ahead. Well, I'm gonna remove the S video juice here and plug it all the way up to the Panasonic. So, just to make sure, I'm gonna remove this plug. So this is the HDMI. Oh yeah. <coughs> so here is the S video. So you first can see it's round. And I will play it on the TV. So right now there's no display. And I'm gonna switch to the S video from the menu. I think it's video one. Ah, right. So here you have the video one running on both screen. And I'm gonna take a picture. But before I take a picture, I'm gonna fuss with the me menu. And like in the picture menu, I will turn on all, 
all of them. So, advanced picture on and motion focus on dark and everything is on. So, everything is on from what I can do with the, the TV with the L video. So, as you know, right now it's all on. So, let's again take a picture. So, you see that both time are running on both screen and click. So you can see that the panel is, is ahead of the CRT monitor. Let's take again a pic. Really so as you can see it's like 344 and this one is like... No, I'm sorry, this the CRT panel is a little bit ahead of the CRT, uh, the LCD panel. But again, I will turn off all the feature. So off here, off, 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 and off again. And white light. So this is the minimum of the LCD panel. So let's take again a picture. So I think the conclusion is that the CRT uh, tube is a little bit ahead of the LCD panel again. Well, I'll do the test with the TV behind. Yes, the CRT TV. That's way too much stuff. I don't know, I don't see anything. Put on the side here. Ah, well, here it is. So I'm going to switch the input. So again, it's the same screen. So let's take a pick again. You see the CRT panel at the same exact time as the TV because they are tube and they don't lag. But when you play with the LCD panel it tends to lag. But depend how much you want it doesn't want it lag but there's a limit. 